Hey there, this is Ken. It's a payroll 2015 update. This is for companies or subcontractors, really, people that purchase routes through FedEx. You know, if, if you're running a route with FedEx, you purchase a route and you have the area which you deliver to, a lot of times you're going to have to pay your people um, by something other than hourly pay. Uh, in this case, many times it's often through stops, how many stops and how many deliveries that they do. So I recently had to uh, create a file for someone who, who's running a business and owns some routes through FedEx. And uh, I'd like to show you what we did here. And if you purchase a route through FedEx or another company that has a similar setup where you need to pay your people from something other than ours, there's another driver at which you have to pay your people, uh, this file will really be helpful for you. And you contact me and I can get you a copy of this file sell you a copy of this file, uh, but it won't be very expensive and it'll work and make your payroll situation a whole lot easier so that you don't have to do everything by hand. So there's a lot of sheets and a lot of different things going on in this file. I'm going to give you a little run through on how it works. This file here can handle up to 25 employees. It can really handle hundreds, but the one you're looking at can handle up to 25. So what you do here is you start filling in information about your employees on this employee info master sheet. You're going to want to find out how many allowances does this person fill out on their W-4, their federal W-4. What's their marital status, you know, yes or no. How many state exemptions do they have depending on what state they, they're in. If there's any local taxes related to their county or city in which they live. This version has Michigan state rates in it, but you can put any state rates into this file. So if you need a file, uh, I can get the state rates in, in here for you. Put in the employee's name, you know, uh, social security number or whatever, right? Um, what state for unemployment purposes? If you're in your own business, you may have to play, you probably are gonna have to play unemployment tax. Now, in this situation, for this FedEx route, business pays the employee by an amount per stop. That's why you always see these employees hustling to get their deliveries done because they get paid by, by stop in many instances. So let's say that you're getting paid $1 per stop. That's what you pay this employee. And then you may also pay them if they deliver additional packages or extra large packages or for some reason there's a supplemental amount uh, per package, they might get an additional supplement here. So we say 20 cents for the additional package and a dollar per rate. And you can set this up for as many employees as you want, right? Put on all their information, Michigan, uh, you know, this is employee two here. Right, guy one, whatever. Now, as you do this, let's say this person gets an additional 10 cents, maybe, per package and only gets 20, eh, 20 cents package. You can put their address, the city, state, and zip, and all this information here. We also have areas for unemployment taxes. In Michigan, there could be an unemployment rate of, say, 5% that you pay. It's also an area for you to put workers' comp rate. If you pay workers' comp on, on your weight, on wages of employees, say that that's 10%, maybe it's a high, high risk industry, with a lot of injuries or something, maybe it has high workers' comp rate. So this is where you, you put your basic information as an employee sheet. After you do that, now you go in and this is called the daily stop sheet. So every day, you need to record information about the stops. So let's say today on 618, uh, it's the summertime, I was able to do 125 stops and I delivered five extra packages. And maybe there's also pickups in here if you have pickups as opposed to stops for picking up a package. So let's say you did five of those. And in this case, the pickup rate is also a dollar. So this is going to calculate the daily compensation for this employee, right? Um, say that there's another employee who also worked today and they did say 75 stops on their route. Now, in this case, you can see that the daily compensation is $100 for this person, but they only did 75 stops at $1.10 and all these extra packages and everything. It should be, more, or should be less than $100. The reason it says $100 is sometimes you're going to create a base minimum for your employee to be paid per day if it's a slow day, but you know this employee gets, kind of needs to get the equivalent of minimum wage or there's just a base minimum that you pay them on any given day, no matter on how many packages they're gonna deliver. So that can be formulated right into here. In this case, it's a, it's a minimum $100 per day. So you enter in all your daily information. You know, let's, let's estimate that maybe tomorrow will be a big day. Sure, why not? Um, all this stuff's gonna fill in automatically, and what it does is it filters into the sheet called weekly alt data. 
In the weekly all data sheet, you can kind of see this information pop up down here over to the right. This is showing that in this week ending, this is, this is a weekly version where you're paying your employees every week, that so far this week, uh, this employee me has done 275 stops. These are the extra packages. My daily compensation is $283. You're gonna be able to add in other information related to the week of pay. You know, maybe you give this person a bonus for this week, $100 bonus, or maybe they had a vacation day and they receive $100 for every vacation day that they took. Um, maybe they have uh, health insurance deduction that uh, is taxable deduction in this case that they they set aside $25 every week um, maybe they have some additional state tax withheld additional federal tax you, you, you can put these in here or you can build columns for any type of payroll deduction that you need and adjust this file as you go what, what you have is you have um, all the formulas that are related to all the different possible things you could need are all all deep in here, this is just a humongous database of formulas that are figuring out every type of tax and everything you could possibly imagine and stuff that you don't see in here that you need. So what I do is I adjust those formulas to meet your business needs so that you can get all the information in here and have you know as little to look at as you possibly need, right? Backing out to, get to freeze things in the... Uh, just so that it's easier for you to see. All right, so that it, you can just look at something like this as an interface that's a lot easier to look at and just type in the columns you need. And once you do that, life is easy. You just go to your pay stub sheet and you will be able to see what the paychecks are. You know, what's this current week ending we're working with? June, I believe it's June 19th. You know, this paycheck based on those two days, this would be my paycheck, $389. These are all the different uh, you know, sum of information, wages, how much federal taxes withheld, Medicare, Social Security. Uh, if I was in Michigan, this would be my Michigan state tax withheld. So all this information just pops up automatically. It's really easy to use. Um, what we also have in here is information about um, that can go into a general ledger to help create uh, a full expense uh, record accounting books for your entire business. So you can type in your revenues and your expenses, you know, say you get paid for one of your routes, um, you know, for this weekend. This is, you know, whatever route one. And you get paid $5,000 for that route. And it was paid next week. You can also have all your expenses related to that route in here. And you can say, well, 618, I had gas, and gas was $485. Um, you know what was my what was my payroll information related to this weekend name? You can click on weekend 619 and you start to see that this is this is all your payroll expenses for the week. So you can paste that right in here. These are all expenses. What ends up happening is you refresh this pivot table on the right. This is going to be able to give you an entire look at all of your expenses as you go. So you can see that your profit, just based on all this information, is 3,900 bucks here in the second quarter, month of June. And these are this is a breakdown of all your expenses. So these are pivot tables that refresh automatically and show you a breakdown of everything so that it's really a seamless procedure to look at your books the end of every week, end of every month. You, you get to group all this information by month and by quarter, by year. It just does it automatically through the group function. Uh, the group function in this pivot table, you have this option to group, so you can group this by days, months, quarters, and years, um, and it's just done automatically. See, I just ungrouped it right there. Um, or this is what it looks like when it's grouped. So I have a bunch of other reports in here, uh, 941 reports that you'll need to file every quarter. I actually have a copy, I, I turn the IRS form, the Security Administration's form, into Excel. It populates automatically. So this is what the 941 looks like and, and when you should make your deposits to the government. This also shows you uh, what the breakdown is of, of what's going in, what that 941 tax due is here. Uh, this is the breakdown of all the information. You can look at this all by month or by quarter or by whatever. Um, you have your state tax reports 
course, if you're not in Michigan, we'll get whatever state tax report or state tax rates you need in here. So this would show you by month, by quarter, by whatever, um, all the inf information for states. This is your unemployment tax. Um, you know, what would you owe for unemployment? Would you owe for state unemployment? Would you owe for federal unemployment? And what do you owe for workers' compensation? And that's about it in this file. But um, as you can see, this daily stop sheet will help you figure out what your daily compensation is and weekly compensation is for all your employees based on stops and extra packages and pickups. So that's what this file is about. If you're purchasing routes with FedEx or another company that, that runs this in a similar way and you are interested in purchasing this file, please let me know. Contact me, Ken at Kenstock.com or 703-665-9962 and I'll help you out. So good luck and happy delivering.